Yay! We are on a date night in San Antonio. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of information. Well, a lot of information. In my yep. Yes. Currently sitting outside Barnes & Noble because that is apparently where the cool kids hang out. What are you doing? Are you playing with it? I'm playing with technology. You're playing with it. Of course you are. <laughs> Vladdy loves him some technology. Which Hans is watching. Hey, Hans. Hey, Hans. What's up? I dude, I haven't seen you in forever. Hope life is going good. I will have to message you and say hi and hear what yeah. is going on in your world. Um, we are currently in San Antonio, right. Texas. Like an hour or so where we live. And we are out on date night right. having fun right. because you should have fun so like i said barnes and nobles is where we're currently hanging out because that's where the cool kids hang out i think barnes and nobles if flatty could move into barnes and nobles he would probably move move into barnes, no barnes or and nobles or whole foods or first whole and foods. then barnes and nobles second. Yeah. if whole foods and barnes and nobles had a baby it would be vladimir <laughs> <Right>. joseph <laughs> that's true that's about true um, sure. so we're here for a purpose though, right? Having fun, but here for a purpose. Tell On we, our date we, night? Yes. No, Have, before, having a purpose yes. for a date night? What's um, our purpose for date night? <laughs> uh, the date night is a movie soon enough. Oh yeah, um, we're but, late to our but, movie. We'll have but to be, get going. But the big deal is something else is going on. Oh yeah, we so we've been talking about like goals and working at achieving like personal like personal goals. And we both have some big goals that we're working on. And sometimes it feels a little bit like treading in treading it uh, on like I don't know in water right, running right, on a right, like, thing right so we're working at finding stuff that helps us uh, achieve goals right. stay motivated keep each right. other motivated and right. just um, I don't know we always like to bring other people along in the journey right, if, right. if anybody want, is crazy <laughs> enough to hang out with us crazy people because we're a little we're a little bit we're a little bit driven and out right, there right, right. <laughs> so Vladdy has a goal and will you share with the world right right facebook live right, right. what well, one of your goals is uh it's not about facebook uh but what <laughs> i will say is um i got some clarity uh, about a month or so ago that the boston marathon is supposed to be for me and so the boston marathon is a goal that has i've not had it before but it's come for forefront if the, the one happening this year is next week on uh, tax day April 15th next year is April 20th so it's a big deal so this is um, gonna need every measure of focus is um, is why I'm excited that we're focused Boston here Marathon. Right how often so how fast do you have to run to qualify <laughs> so you can't even run in the Boston Marathon unless you run other marathons yeah. and qualify with a yeah. certain speed right right so how fast do you have to run another marathon to even qualify for the Boston Marathon. Yeah, it's actually pretty intense. Um, I have to run, for my age, I have to run three hour marathon. 26.2 miles in, in, in three hours. Three um, hours. Or I would, I would have had to run another marathon at that rate uh, to qualify. To even qualify to uh, run. To run the Boston Marathon. Yeah, how fast can you run now? Um, it's irrelevant <laughs> because it doesn't matter where you start from, it's, it's, it's about your How plan. How often are you running now? It doesn't matter either. <laughs> it's not where you start, but it's your, where you're going. Um, what's your plan uh, and where you want to go and why you want to go. So that's, that's what's going on. Um, I'm excited about this Boston Marathon, one among other significant, significant goals you want to share a significant goal of yours? A significant goal of mine? Mm -hmm. I have gone back to business school. I started in November of 2018 and I'm working to do an accelerated program to get a degree in business management, which is super fun because I've been doing business management stuff, oh gosh, since like high school. Mm -hmm. Um, and always get put in positions of running departments or running people's businesses. And so I'm actually going back and finalizing a degree for that. Hey, Christy Johnson is on. What's up, Christy? I have not said hi to you in forever. We have to catch up, girl. Um, so yeah, going back to school for business management stuff. And so currently to finish that degree when they, when they set me on a standard path, if I've got like three 
years of full-time school and I want to knock it out in two or less so that's the goal I am working on undo undoing that so so that is one of our goals and so oh so <laughs> apparently Vladimir is showing you showing off his new book All right so we just picked up a copy of Michael Hyatt's free to focus right. and it I don't know if it displays this backwards or not, but that's Michael Hyatt's new book, Free to Focus. If you're not familiar with him, <laughs> um, if you're not familiar, yeah, t totally true. Hi, Christy. Um, if you're not familiar with Michael Hyatt, New York Times bestselling author, former um, multiple, head. Multiple, multiple times. Multiple, yeah. And then former head of Nelson Thomas Publishing. Thomas, yeah. Am I saying that backwards? Thomas Nelson. Thomas yeah. Nelson Publishing. Right. And then he coaches people. Um, business entrepreneurs, that that sort of thing, and so are you, you kind of keep just gonna yes, keep yes, the book. Yes, yes, yes. Vladdy's a big fan yes. of um, of Michael Hyatt's work, and we've been following his stuff for several years now. I've been utilizing some of his training, and mm -hmm. it's been awesome and totally fun. So, right. anyways, the reason we're showing this is he just released this book, and we've been doing some of the things that he teaches in this, and it's been really helpful in our life. And so we just wanted to throw a shout out out to Michael Hyatt for releasing the book and just say that if anybody it wants to learn more about productivity, how to do um, not really more with your time, but how to do the right things with your time and scale your life in such a way that you're able to accomplish what you want to accomplish in the time that you want to accomplish it, doing more with less, I guess, is kind of the, the concept of yes. that. And he's got yes. some really cool tools and stuff for that. So. We're per currently going through the book, but we thought it'd be fun to just throw an invite out there if anybody else is looking for a way to um, just slay the day, I guess you could say, to accomplish your goals, to be more productive right, with your right, time, right, to not be overwhelmed right, by the right. everything that you're trying to do with work and right. life and school and kids right. and marriage. Um, this is some awesome, awesome tips for that. So. Yeah. What else? Yeah, what I like about Mike, Michael Hyatt's uh, 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 example is that he he is um, probably the only one that I know of uh, who's climbed the corporate ladder and then got to the, uh, became a CEO of a, a well-established company, probably an international company, and then figured out the the position did not allow him to have the time he wanted with his family. The position did not allow him to have to, um, uh, to do the things that he was interested in, most passionate about. Although prestige, esteem in a C CEO position um, would keep many many in that position for some time, uh, much longer than after they figured it out. But he figured it out, and then he literally gracefully exited this um, this position. And then at the same time, went to create um, a, a pathway that many others can follow and do the same in that fine, um, he's, 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 a, he's still a CEO now of, of his own company. And this is a CEO that is um, having all kinds of quality of life and bringing a lot of people along with him. And so I appreciate, I appreciate what, what he stands for. He's, 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 he's legitimately showing you technical productive things and and doing it with a, a Christian core and just so uh, so uh, uh, admirable a person yes so anyway hey Katie thanks for jumping on good to see you um, and I was gonna say we're zipping back off to we're officially late to a movie now. right but <laughs> if you potentially like the idea of just coming alongside right. a group of people and getting a little bit of just encouragement um, we'll drop a link of just like a little um, like information thing or something on this yeah to to just give you a place of, of contact for that or reach out to us message one of us yeah but, um, so just throwing it out there yeah no no pressure we're doing it and just thought we'd well pressure i'm kidding um <laughs> no pressure from me maybe pressure from this guy uh, i don't i don't like pressure he likes pressure well i, I just want to make you it like being the one applying the pressure i, I want to be i want to be i want to be focused that um we we all have deep desires and passions in our lives and that a lot of us like me sometimes don't know how to get there and, and i i want to make it clear it's possible and I wish, not no longer wish to, to get there, but I am, I am 
becoming unyielding about getting there. And so I, I suppose there are some others out there who are becoming unyielding about accomplishing their goals, accomplishing things with a core from the right place mm -hmm. and with, with know-how, um, tech, technical know-how that doesn't require you to become a genie in, in, in of yourself to figure it out. But, but so, so if you are that person or hey, you're interested in bringing somebody else up, in Ryan that Huff? path of creating momentum about the most important, some of the most important goals in your life in the next month, in the next two years, I am going for the Boston Marathon among other a couple other significant You've got goals, some pretty hefty goals you're driving uh, for and, right in yeah. in everything that is essential for me and us to get there uh is going to be what i'm going to use if you are that type of person or if you're willing to go on that journey we will be kind and gentle and <laughs> we will and, and helpful uh in that path uh, right We'll be kind yes, and gentle. Yes, we're, we're just following what, <laughs> right, what he right. says. He's, so. he's pretty kind and gentle. Um, he is a very uh, yeah, nice kind yeah, and Yeah, Michael person, Hyatt is pretty so. kind and gentle. Uh, so. we're, we're plugging the book yeah. because we've learned from it. We're, right. we're not plugging it because we're, we're like, you know, we're, we're being, yeah. you know, paid to, like, so, you know, promo Michael Hyatt's right, book. So right. we just thought we'd share that all, yeah. out on date night. Hey, hey Missy. Hey, Jackie. Yes, to see you guys. yes, yes. Yes. So fun. Yes. And date night. Time for us to get date, to our date time night. Time for us to get to our date uh, night. Check what? out this book is what we're going to be talking about. Jackie said in us some love. Thank you for the Thank love, you, love. Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. Check out this book um, online. Do a search for it. And if this interests you, please reach out to us because we are going to hit this book hard in our life. And anyone else want to join along with us. All right? Yes. You cool. owe me a movie. Yes, movie time. Love you. <laughs> Talk to you later. Yes, we will enjoy date night. Ooh, your my brother and his wife have done the Boston Marathon twice. Is that what she said? What? I need your help. <laughs> we'll be contact. <laughs>